Good morning, Booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. It's been a couple days since I made a video, so I thought I'd make a video because we're going into a new week tomorrow. This is a Saturday here in West Michigan. It is 10 o'clock in the morning on February the 6th. And uh, it's been snowing here, very cold. Uh, we live by Lake Michigan, so we get lake effect snow. So we get more snow being along the lake than people inland. So I hope you had a good week, a good reading week. I pray that you're all well, not sick with the COVID-19 plague. I am, uh, as I do every morning, I'm having my devotions where I'm just reading my Christian books in the mornings. That's, I suppose the best time for me to read when I'm, I'm most alert is in the mornings, even though I don't sleep well at night. I tend to be more, it's kind of like a habit. And uh, I've been reading uh, Rudolph of Saxony, well, Rudolph of Saxony, The Life of Jesus Christ, Part 1, Volume 1, Chapters 1 through 40. This is on the life of Christ, and I am right now on the epiphany of the Lord to the three magi, magi more, the th three wise men, the... They were, according to New Testament scholars, they were astrologers from Babylon. So I've been reading that. And now you're reading, this is from a medieval perspective on the, the infancy narratives in Matthew and Luke. So I read, I've been reading along with it, this book, The Birth of the Messiah. A commentary on the infancy, infancy narratives of Matthew and Luke by Raymond E. Brown. This is a more modern work. And this came out in 1979. I'm also reading along with it uh, this commentary on the Gospel of Luke. This is volume one of a two volume commentary on Luke. This is Luke chapters 1 through verse 1 to chapter 9, verse 50. This is a Baker exegetical commentary in the New Testament by Daryl L. Bach. And then I'm also reading in the Gospel of Matthew, this commentary, the Gospel of Matthew by R.T. France, the New International Commentary in the New Testament. So I read these to read the birth narratives in Matthew and Luke from a more uh, modern New Testament perspective instead of a medieval commentary perspective. So I'm reading that in the mornings today. As far as my diary, I'm on page 129 for the year 2021, here on February the 6th, 2021. Yeah, I was reading on the, the Gospel of Matthew, the birth narratives there, and I was reading the part, I'm really, I'm coming to the part in Luke where Mary and Joseph dedicate uh, Jesus in the, in the temple, which is in the Gospel of Luke. So yeah, I've had a normal week, uh, it's been snowing, uh, everybody's fine here. My wife went to uh, do errands this morning, go to the grocery store and get a prescription and things like that. It says here, um, Jesus presented in the temple. This is in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, starting at verse 21. And, and when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, 
His name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now when the days of her pur purification according to the law of Moses were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As is written in the law of the Lord, every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to the, what is said in the law of, of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. So that, that's what I was reading about in these commentaries. Uh, reading also Rudolf or Lobnoff or Rudolf of Saxony. I also been reading yesterday morning, I was reading uh, volume two, Reform Systematic Theology, Man and Christ. I've been reading this section on the three offices of the three office of the med one mediator, uh, prophet, priest, and king. Uh, this is by Joel R. Beakey and Paul M. Smalley. The third volume of this massive work is coming out in the spring. Uh, I notice in book two, people are talking about this is March Mammoth when you read books over 800 pages. This book is 1,000 and... This is a bibliography and a scriptural index. It's over about 1,360 pages. So that would qualify for our March Mammoth. And this one uh, is... How many pages? It's about 770 pages. So I've been reading that in the mornings. And in the afternoons, uh, I mentioned a couple, a couple of weeks ago, I was at our local Goodwill and I came across a classic book that I read a couple of years ago. And I had a paperback edition and I found this hardback edition. This is Emerson Among the Eccentrics, a group portrait by Carlos Baker. I, I got back into reading this, rereading it, and I've been, and then I had bought a year or two years ago this biography on Henry David Thoreau, A Life by Laura Dazzler Walls. I had started reading this and then I stopped reading it. I don't know why exactly, but then I decided since I was reading about Henry uh, Henry David Thoreau and this Carlos Baker's uh, biography on Emerson, David Henry David Thoreau, the Alcotts, Nathaniel Hawthorne, uh, that I w I decided to read get back into this and so I picked up where I stopped. So I've been reading this too, Henry David Thoreau Alive by Laura Daslo Das Dasso Das Dasso Walls. So I've been reading these in the afternoons primarily the last couple of days. I also read along with this. I have I've shown this in the past. This is a New York Review of ba uh, Basic Classics Original. Is that what it's called? The New York Review Book uh, Books. So I've been reading the, the Journal of 1837 to 1861 by Henry David Thoreau. This is not his complete diary or journal. It's it's a massive if you see it and. This is just selections from his journals. I also got this out the other night. This is an intellectual biography on Emerson by Lawrence Burrell. I was reading the section here on religious radicalism in the uh, lectures, essays, and poetry of Ralph Waldo Emerson. So I've been reading chapters out of this book. I also have been, I have 
this book, Emerson and His Journals, by selected and edited by Joel Port. So I've been reading this along with the other material. I also uh, remembered when I was reading about Ralph Waldo Emerson, he had an aunt named Aunt Mary. And many years ago, when our oldest son was going to Boston College and working on his doctorate in political philosophy, Carol and I, we went and visit them. Uh, Emily was living with him, who's now, they're married. And we went, one of the things I wanted to do when we were visiting our son, Caleb, and his uh, wife-to-be, or fiance at that time, was go to Concord. And I wanted to go and visit where Emerson lived, and also the other people who were involved in the American transcendentalism. And I went to the graveyard where uh, Thoreau, I think Thoreau was buried there, Alcott's, Nathaniel Hawthorne, and also I visit the grave of Ralph Waldo Emerson, and I have a photo of it, of his grave and other graves there in, I uh, forgot what that cemetery is called, my mind just went blank. But we also went to Walden Pond, which is now a big tourist site, and they have a bookstore there at Walden Pond, there in the Concord, outside of Concord, Massachusetts. And I bought this book, which I've never read. <laughs> it's called Mary Moody Emerson and the Origins of Transcendentalism, A Family History by Phyllis Cole. I never read this, but I noticed when I got it out, I still have in here the uh, the sales slip of the book. <laughs> uh, the Thoreau Society Shop at Walden Pond. This, my wife says we were there in 2008. We were there in the autumn, in October. And uh, I bought this book, which I've never read, but I got it out to look at. Oh thing went, got blurry all of a sudden. So yeah, this book cost me $37, $35. So it's an Oxford University Press, but I should read it. So I got out to look at it. So yeah, it's called Mary Moody Emerson and the Origins of Transcendentalism of Family History. It looks kind of interesting. Maybe I'll get into it now that I'm reading Carlos Baker's Emerson Among the Eccentrics. A group portrait. I'm also reading Henry David Thoreau, A Life by Laura Daslow Walls. And reading uh, Emerson, Intellectual Biography by uh, Emerson by Lawrence Burrell. So these are the kind of things I've been reading the last three or four days as I uh, were kind of hunkered down here in the house due to the snow and the bitter cold weather. In the mornings, I'm looking at the birth narratives of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah Christ, the birth of the Messiah by Raymond E. Brown, looking at the Gospel of Matthew commentary by R.T. France. R.T. France, uh, I highly recommend all his books. He's written other books that are worth, uh, like he has Jesus in the Old Testament. I think he has a book on Matthew and discipleship. He has other commentaries. And looking at uh, Bach on Luke, his first volume of a two, massive two volumes. He also wrote a commentary on Acts. As you all know, the Gospel of Luke and Acts all go together. So I have his commentary in Acts too. And reading Rudolph of Saxony on the life of Jesus Christ. And reading Beaky and Smalley on Christology. Looking at the three offices of Jesus as mediator, prophet, priest, and king. Writing in my diary. Uh, I have, I don't, I have a, a systematic theology coming in the mail. I ordered volume three of this work, which comes to me in March. Uh, volume three, no, it's, it's 
volume two. This is, well, yeah, it goes, I can't remember how it goes. You have part one, volume one, chapters one through two. Then you have part two, volume one, and then the, it's got, it, all together it's going to be a four volume translation of this uh, work that was written in the high middle ages by a Carthusian. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, but I like to read also more modern uh, commentaries on the Gospels. So I try to mix both. So I hope you're, like I said, had a good week, that you had a, having a good weekend. We go into February. We are in February. We're going towards the middle of the month. Hopefully we're going into spring. <laughs> spring I hope it comes soon so like I said I'm doing okay I have my ups and downs you know I struggle with depression and feeling I get weird weird world weary I'm kind of glad that the presidential elections are over with that's off my mind and so I'm just uh, reading the Bible and uh, I'm still still in Second Kings, but I've been reading through the gospel narratives on the birth of the Messiah. And uh, I haven't got back into the Psalms lately. I'm kind of like really getting into this book. I'm really enjoying reading it and reading my commentaries on the gospels. So I, I suppose that's it. So I'll download this video. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And, and yeah, so I hope you have a good new week. And until next time, bye. I can't think of anything else I'm supposed to say. Oh, I do. I did go to thrift stores the other day. My, I had a doctor's appointment on Monday. And uh, after we went to the doctor's appointment, it was just a basic, the doctor just wanted to look at me and look at my blood work. It was nothing serious. And then after we went to the doctor's, my wife, since she's retired, has got into going to thrift stores and looking for used books. So after we went to the doctor's office, Monday morning, yeah, I think it was Monday, she wanted to go to thrift stores. And so we went to thrift stores and I got a bunch of used books. My wife got more used books than I did. <laughs> but I got some used uh, used books and I'll show those maybe in either Sunday or Monday. Monday Reads maybe. So I did get some used books, some thrift store books. I'll show those in a future video. So once again, do pray you're all doing well. And until next time, bye.